Hello, I'm John Scott Martin, I'm President of the Royal Society of Marine Artists. We've just opened this year's annual show, which is the 77th annual show of the Royal Society of Marine Artists. Around us we have wonderful work, all related to the sea, and ships, and foreshores, and cliffs. Truly, it's a very representational work from a very maritime nation. We hope that you will all visit and enjoy it in the not too distant future. We have six new applicants for associate this year. Generally speaking, they need to have shown their work in a number of exhibitions and been accepted for a number of exhibitions. Therefore, we know there is continued quality in their work. Uh, we do encourage especially younger artists to apply. It is not a society which is completely related to the old and tried community. It's for young artists as well. So if you are, if you are very keen on having your work accepted, please, please apply. I'm the only printmaker member of the Royal Society of Marine Artists. My work, to a certain extent, is unusual, but I print on collage. And when you see my work, you may think it's produced with a lot of colors. But in fact, there's only two printed colors. The rest are actually colored paper. I have sailed, and I'm a sailor, not constantly, but whenever I can, most of my ships and boats are in fact moving and are taken from the sea, not from the land, but from the sea. This work is of HMS Glasgow, which is being built on the Clyde by BAE Systems, who have just awarded us a very substantial prize. Hi, my name is Sri Rangam Mohan Kumar. I'm honoured to be presented with the Classic Award 2022. <clears throat> uh, the inspiration uh, for this work uh, comes from uh, going after capturing the mood and atmosphere of a scene. Um, uh, this particular piece, uh, I love the light uh, and the and the, and the atmosphere and the action and uh, I'm quite uh, chuffed with the result um, in the end. I've been uh, exhibiting continually uh, over the last seven years or so, if I remember correctly, and this means a lot to me uh, to be chosen as an applicant. Uh, this will uh, eventually make me a member, I hope. and. Uh, I hope to do uh, more paintings and exhibition for RSMA in the years to come. Uh, among other subjects I like, uh, marine uh, subjects always been special to me uh, because <clears throat> I love the seaside, uh, the freshness, and the light, and the movement, and the atmosphere uh, always been uh, attractive to me. Uh, and I have uh, done a few uh, marine subjects and I, I hope to continue to do uh, more of those in future. I'm Jenny Aitken and uh, I've been painting for most of my life but professionally since about 1999. Um, I absolutely love painting the sea. I come from, or my family comes from the Channel Islands and um, I've just grown up with that love of life around the sea, holiday life around the sea, family life around the sea. And it's just, yeah, I love it. And um, this was actually from a trip to Harwich to teach, and I'd never been to that area before, the East Coast. It's really busy, industrial, and not usually what I do, but um, I was just fascinated by the lighting that I love in this really industrial sort of 
well, area. I know these kind of, the, the way the light bounces around differently, and especially on the East Coast as well, on the sea, all the different colors. I just, I loved it. So I'm going back this year, and I'll be doing similar things, hopefully. I became aware of it years ago, and it became a, a long-term aim, and I felt, I sort of looked at it and thought, I don't think I'm good enough to apply yet, and I just sort of tried harder and harder. <laughs> and then I started applying, and I got work in gradually over the years, and then I had sort of three successful years, and I went for it last year. But I find it absolutely like everybody does, just inspirational being around this, this level of quality in work. The first time I came to the Mal galleries, I was just, I was just blown away. I've never been in, in that kind of, kind of contemporary art situation. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very glad to be on that path now. And showing in amongst all of this, it's great. I'm overexcited. <laughs> Everything that I try and put into this particular exhibition, I love, I'm obsessed with the light, and so I try and put the ones that are best, they're like my best examples of lighting. I love that, uh, that illusion you get when you get the lighting right, where you get that sort of pinprick um, in your eyes. It's like you're looking into the sun, you know? Um, I did put another one in, which is in the other gallery. Um, it's a large, moody seascape. It's very, st still very much about atmosphere, but um, much more of a kind of, just another mood of the sea, I guess. Um, and I've been really enjoying getting into that recently. I think they all sit together. There's some pretty little sparkles, and then there's the great big scary seascape. So there you go. Don't be put off by thinking you're not good enough. Don't be put off by what you hear about competitions like this, about societies. I sometimes think there's a bit of conspiracy about, you know, or only people get in who know the right people. Well, I didn't know anyone. Um, I just love painting the sea, and I, I could see the level that I had to sort of try to get to in order to get through, and I guess that's, I just tried and kept going. There's a degree of luck, I know, you know, with any exhibition, people will pick things that go with the general theme, but um, absolutely, if you want it, just, just go for it. It is the best feeling being here, so it's well worth the efforts. It's well worth it. I encourage you. <laughs>